Okay, so let's take a look at the Files app on the iPad. Also, the Files app works in the same way on your iPhone as well, so you'll be able to obviously share those files um, and access points between the two. But we're gonna look at what it looks like on the iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Files app. And if you've used the Files app before, you'll notice that there's some user interface design changes. You now have your sidebar over here that gives you access to all of your different locations and favorites and tags, etc., cetera, um, which you can toggle on or off uh, by tapping on this icon at the top. You can also change the view. So at the moment, I'm in the icon view um, and I can then change that to lists um, or alternatively to columns. Columns means if I had folders over here, uh, it's going to list all of the contents of the folders in this space. And I can show that um, in a second when we move into what you can find on the device. The last icon along the top to identify uh, is, a, is the more. And within this, there are some great options, which, you know, sometimes you might overlook. Um, and the top one really is, is the scan documents, which is such a useful tool. So now, rather than going into notes to scan a document, which is going to save it into the notes that I'm making, I can just scan a document and save it straight into my iCloud or, or any other locations that you might be choosing to use. You can also connect to a server, so by tapping on here it gives me the option to connect to the server, so depending on your setup where you work, you might have access to on-site servers as well, so there's that option to do that there. And then we start to look at the location of everything over here. So I can go to Edit Sidebar, and give me the option to turn on and turn off certain elements. So you can really personalize this. We'll talk about tags, we'll talk about folders, um, etc. in a second. But also, you know, all of the different locations of where you might want to store your work. So one thing to highlight is the fact that we can have uh, Google Drive on our device. We can also have OneDrive on our device. So both Google and Microsoft's offering of cloud storage is accessible on my device, obviously, as long as I've got... Uh, myself logged in on my device to be able to access those things. And where that's really good is it means that I can just find anything on my device. So just by searching um, in the search bar at the top, if I search for a PowerPoint, it's going to bring up PowerPoints, regardless of where they're stored on the device. It's just going to search for everything that I might want to find. Equally, if I was to search for a doc, again, anything that's in doc, and again, you'll see here, some of them are stored in my iCloud drive, some of them are stored in my Google drive, and equally some might be within my OneDrive because I have access to all of those things over here. So when we're utilizing these things, uh, obviously from an, an iCloud, Google drive, OneDrive point of view, that's my cloud storage. Um, I've also got things that are located directly on my device things that are located in other storage solutions that you might have. And also certain apps will also allow you to be able to access the cloud version of anything you've saved on the device as well. You also can quickly find anything that you might have deleted on your device. So again, really easy way to organize those things. Now, one other thing to, to highlight, if I was trying to find specific pages, documents or keynote documents, etc., if I just go into iCloud Drive, I can go to pages and within here, I can then find all of my pages documents. And one thing to also highlight at this point, and we'll come on to this because of the, the folders over here, is I now have the option to create a folder directly from the screen here, where I might want to add in uh, new items, whatever it might be. Okay, so name your folder, and then you have the option to be able to just drag and drop to add those things into the folder. So if I drag this document, slide it across, drop it, it's just going to add these into this folder. So again, helps you to organize those things. So let's come on to favorites and tags. These are obviously things that you might really want to find in a hurry, which is great. So if I want to, you know, grab this document, and I know it's part of one of these things, I can just simply add this in. So let's say from this point of view, it's a document that I think uh, is useful to have in this folder set up over here. I've just got that folder. Within the folders itself, if I tap and hold on any one of those folders, you'll see that I have the option. In this case, it's already a favorited one, so I would have the option here to favorite it or unfavorite it. And also the option to share those folders with other people, which is a great way, obviously, if you want to have that collaborative kind of space where you want to share all of the contents of a folder. But again, you have complete control of those things. And then the final one to highlight at this point is the ability to tag things. And again, 
similar to folders, but you might have things in different folders in different parts of the device. I might have work which is in OneDrive, might have work which is in Google Drive or on iCloud Drive that actually is all part of the same thing, i.e. could be creativity here. So I can tap on tags, I can choose any of these tags that I might want to add in and it can be multiple ones, so it could be something to do with your work but also something you want to tag as being to do with creativity, it could also be that it's to do with a certain phase of learning like Key Stage 2 or, or whatever it might be and you might also need to obviously add in new tags. At that point, it gives you the little coloured icon next to it. And if you have multiple tags, you have multiple colours. And it just means if you then tag tap on any of these tags here, it's going to bring up everything again, a mix of things. Some of these are folders, some of them are keynote files, some of them are numbers files. Uh, it could be absolutely anything, it could just be an image. But you'll be able to find all of those things in a really, really quick and easy way. So that's how you can um, edit all of this page. That's how you can make this a really user-friendly um, approach to things. And also remember that when you, you do want to open up any of these items, if I choose something now within Keynote, it's just going to take me uh, to the, the app that it needs to open in. So I don't need to worry too much about what it is that I've created and where it's stored as such. The device is just going to open it in the, the native app for that file that's been saved. So there we go, a very brief overview of how to use files on the iPad, a really useful way to just keep yourself organised, keep everything in one place and be able to search for those documents that you may well have created.